live interviews can provide the basis for the sort of teamwork sometimes necessary in dealing with the problems of children. Three detentions. Do we have traditional parent-teacher conferences? What? ASMS Learning Conversations. Who? Amandi. Ryan. Regina. Erin. Actually, all students. So we're talking about our learning conversations and how they have helped the students achieve their goals. Well, learning conversation is where you have a discussion with your teacher and your parents. The students are in charge of our own learning and our own learning conversations. Twice a year in terms one and three. When I first came here, I had no idea what was in learning conversation. Talk about your progress, what you did and what your strengths and weaknesses are. In my next presentation, I will be sort of talking about the general capabilities, literacy, numeracy, critical and creative thinking. I will also be talking about goals. Learning conversations in our school are a key part of our focus on monitoring and supporting student growth. And I'm also going to be talking about strategies. How this will help like um, our learning goals as well as our personal goals. Well it's good and it helps us develop as a person as well as a learner. They should be identifying what they need as learners for themselves. At my old school we used to have like the teachers talk about our learning instead of the students. So that was really interesting, quite engaging as well. For my learning conversation, which is next week, I'm working on my work I have done and adding work examples onto a presentation. We use an e-portfolio that they develop as a way for them to present evidence. What challenges I face and how to improve on that. Um, what I did throughout the year, like assignments that can support the capabilities. They also use the Australian curriculum capabilities as a way of framing and reflecting on their learning against each of those seven capabilities. I feel very pleased with my work that I've undertaken this year. I'll also talk to the teacher and see where they recommend me working harder. They're obviously working towards this all year through their day-to-day -day learning studies program. What we do is provide a series of guiding questions or focus questions. Year 10s, it's mostly how they fit into the school. 11s, it's about our future, what we need to learn for year 12 and being prepared for year 12. And year 12, it's all about like what subjects we've been doing and how we can achieve our future goals. Personally, I enjoy them I like, I, because I have a good relationship with my tutor. I like to express my ideas and talk about my progress to him. Here we go. Welcome. Hey, Hi, Jules. How are you? Have a sweet so there are like a set of skills that we develop. I have two strengths. Um, one of them is time management. The second strength is independent learner. That awareness enables them to take control, to take agency um, of their learning now and in the future. It helps them see themselves as a whole person, which is a really important part of our program. Uh, so I've got four goals and the strategies to it. There's lots of things that excite me about being able to use common language around what we've taught them about learning strategies and taught them about a positive mindset and how the brain works. And I got um, feedback for that. So now I know like what I know and what I don't know and what I need help oh, okay. with. This is my primary evidence for the intercultural understanding. This is an interview analysis that I've done for my research project. I have developed my literacy capability through this as I was able to interpret information from my primary source. Last year I reflected, oh my god, this year is very stressful. I need to I, I need to change these ways. My goals that I've set myself this year, plan and follow an exam revision strategy because I myself am not a very planning person. Study environment, um, personally I prefer not quiet, not too quiet environment because I get distracted. Some people don't like looking at mistakes because they, they're embarrassed somehow, but I like looking at mistakes because I can learn and then maybe in the future I can teach others. Some of them don't start with a growth mindset and you can see through their learning conversations and through their time at the school that actually developing and growing through this process. Um, and the ones that I haven't accomplished yet, I'm still working towards those. Mm -hmm. and if I've just said, yeah, that, I did okay last exam, I, I, can, I can do as well this exam as well, like nothing would have happened, I wouldn't have developed it anyway. Conversations with, study, with learning studies teachers, that was 
very important. Good. Yeah, big change. Good. Big change. Yeah, yeah very happy. It's a fabulous thing for our graduates to finish their time at the ASMS and to be aware of themselves um, as a person, not just aware of themselves as what they've achieved in terms of grades. I think this is your final one, ASMS experience. Much more than that. Worthwhile choice? Yes, yeah. definitely. Yeah.